soup in the house. You hey, guys. We're, we're absolutely a... mind blowingly amazing tonight. Thank you. We're not well, in a house. We're right. actually in a uh, a little uh, cubicle or whatever. Yeah. We're in a thing with Sarah. It's a yeah. Guys, I've seen a lot of international acts. And seriously, I've been a fan of you guys since what 1985. <laughs> 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 He's making jokes. Oh, making jokes. But so did you guys. Well done tonight, guys, because really the crowd ate it up. You guys rocked tonight. Well done. Yeah, they were awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's no. the thing. Our show, we just entertain ourselves. The right. audience can go like, oh, they can entertain themselves as well. But we are like kind of the bridge between us and them. What he's trying to say is that we inter if we can make each other laugh, then it's a funny show. I'm so glad that you guys cleared up the Fountains of Wayne story on stage. Right. So many people leading up to this interview said to me, listen, these are the guys that say she's, say she's mom. And I'm like, right. no, they're not. Well, we've actually gotten that literally since the song came out. And the funny thing is, is we have a connection with that band. Um, Adam and I, who, Adam who wrote that song, and I've been friends for a really long time, and he and I actually wrote High School Never Ends, which is a big Bowling for Soup song. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, but the Stacey's Mom thing, like, it, it was... It was very organically odd because we would just show up at shows and people were like, hey, Stacey's mom. It did it. But I mean, the fact that it's global yeah. is even weird. Yeah. I mean, that shows you like the power of the internet because I mean, we literally had nothing to do with that song at all. Nothing. And, and here we go. Yeah, okay, I've got a good question for you guys because I mean, you guys like, never got back together in 2015. I, I loved your promo video, by the way, when you guys were getting back together. Right. It was amazing. Right. What were you guys up to before that? We really didn't break up. We just no, no, up. exactly. Like, we, I mean, our thing was is that we needed a break. And you know what? If and now, if we're gonna get serious for a second, like we all needed a little bit of our time. We we did it for our uh, own mental health. Correct. Yeah. But I mean, but also like I got divorced. Eric got divorced. You know what I mean? Like it, Gary had kids. Like it, it just the world was insane at the is time. Is that a rock star thing to get divorced? Is that like? No, the thing is, is that I don't think it's cool to get divorced. I didn't want to get divorced. Yeah. Okay. Nobody does. That's the reason why. Nobody I does. That's no, no, of course. But no, you fall in love and you, it's love. And you do you that. I'm so taxing that, that the other half feels. We had, life was hard yes. for the first time in our existence. We were almost 20 years in. It was either let's let the band burn out and just fucking end up hating each other and like not go all through this together and yada yada or let's back up let's stop let's go through this together be through be with each other for all of this and, and get together and come up with a plan and get together and come up with a plan for the future my next question is a simple one you guys I mean tonight watching you guys on stage you guys still sound like you're in your 20s you yeah. guys are still rocking and partying hard like you're in your 20s yeah how the fuck do you do that because we're smart and we're um, we know to keep our relationship first and to keep the band first and to deal with all the other shit outside of the, the band or whatever individually and also collectively and we're just fucking a good unit of people. Do you guys find that the audiences today are different to the audiences of yesterday? It has nothing to do with when we took a break. The audiences are different today because they were different all the time. Audience is ever changing. For us, it's amazing because it says like everything. God, we have such an amazing existence. It's 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 across the board. We have a actually. I'm gonna tout our fucking uh, Facebook page right now. Go ahead. Uh, our Facebook fan page. What is it called? It's called the Bowling Pursuit Fan Page. I do an F. They, it's F become a community of awesome people that like us, but they like each other. And what's weird is they go non-BFS posts, and they solve each other's fucking problems. And we had nothing to do with this other than we're like good people, and we like everybody. We, I love everybody. Well, I, I, the thing is, too, is that, like, so when we were a bar band back in the 90s, no hits... It was all people just came out to drink with us, right? Then and we, you make friends of the Then we life. had hits. And then we had hits on Disney. Then we were on a cartoon. And you keep your and friends. Our audience got, so our audience is literally an, an insane mixture of people who have been with us for 20 years and people who have been with us for two years. When you guys broke into the industry, 
like, I mean, really hits it big was what? Was 90s, but 90s? No, no, no. So, I mean, our thing was just like, and I used to tell the guys in the van back, I mean, we've been together 25 years, and yeah. we were together nine years before we ever got in a tour bus. We were together... You know, twelve years. And before back in the day, we were like, "Oh my God, we're either gonna like have to get real jobs, or we're gonna be <laughs> the greatest band of all time." Right. And, and guess what happened? Good we became the greatest band of all time. But that's true. But I would tell them all the time, like, <laughs> you know, I mean, here's the thing: like, you could, we could literally be doing anything in the world, but let's not strive to be you too. You know, like, who gives a shit? about you too now. Let's try to be like... But that sort of leads me to the question that I was, uh, I was about to ask you. Was like, back in the 90s, I mean, you, had, you guys had a lot of competition in the sense of Green Day was breaking it, Live was breaking it. And, 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 I, and I know that there's different styles and genres to what you guys do. But what made you guys stand out as body for Super? Because I mean, we stayed the, uh, we, we stay would, the course. We, we stay the course, and we just do what we do, yeah. and we're happy as fuck to yeah. do what we do. Yeah. And honestly, we're nice guys. Sometimes we get mad, and like, there's shit that happens. Well, is, that that philosophy is, he does. is that philosophy still the same today? Of course. Absolutely. So you yeah. guys are still we have the, the same, same dynamic that we had from the time we had our first rehearsal. And if, we, if, we, if it wasn't fun anymore, we would stop. The reason we took a break is because we were in danger of it creeping into this shit because we all had personal shit going on okay. so we took a fucking break we're because we're smart look here's the thing like our our bowling pursuit is what it is the reason we work is because if you listen to us after a long day at work or a long day whatever it's gonna make you happy people in our genre went out and did other kinds of music and they all did it great i mean it's it, whatever i mean who gives a shit Everybody does what they have to do. The thing, the reason that we are still here and the reason that we're still relevant, relevant yeah. and still Relative literally the it. greatest band that's ever lived is because you know if we put out an album, it's going to sound like Bowling Pursuit. It's going to make you happy. There's, There's going to be a song about a breakup. There's going to be a song what? about this. And guess what? Guess what? ACDC has always been ACDC. They put out ACDC albums, they tour, they rock people's balls off. So, I'm, and not, I'm they, not saying we are ACDC. And but, they represent but, electricity, which is so yeah. kick-ass. Because if we didn't have electricity, we couldn't do this interview right now. <laughs> Fair enough. But, I mean, talk about electricity. Forget this. You guys were electrified on stage. Yeah, yeah it's just because we're up there and being I, ourselves. And, right. and the thing is, is, like, you just never change the show. Like, our show is, like, look... I think it's funny to try to make him laugh. I think it's funny to, that Eric is ridiculous and basically makes no sense when he talks. Yeah. It's fucking funny, you know? Like, And I get up every single night, and I have that pleasure of being able to do that. And they'll let me do whatever I want. Like, if I want to do a bit about this or whatever, they'll let everybody, like, it's like improv. It's like, okay, we're all going to do it. Like when we put on the hats tonight. It's not like we've ever done that before. Yeah, my question is a simple one. And I'm sure you've heard it a million times in the interview, and I'm sure you're going to give me a, a very generic answer. But be a little bit creative and specific. Where to from here? We uh, we tour Texas. Uh, then we go on Warp Tour, the final Warp Tour. Then we enter into our 25th year as a band. Um, Big so album coming? I don't know. We have to think about that, whether or not we want to do new music or whether we want to do other shit. It's, you know, it's funny. Everybody always wants new music until you re- when you put it out there, and then it's sort of like, okay, they did a new album. And, it, and and to be honest, like, I literally sit and I write 15 songs. We go and record them, and then I don't want to play any of them live because I'm like, I'd rather play the songs that people want to know. And they would that, rather that's play That's the thing, songs. like, about, like, like what, um, in our, we have a birthday coming up. All of your soup have a, has a birthday coming up. So wish us a fucking birthday. 24. And we're going to be 24 years old. Yeah, we enter so our 25. And I'm 40, I'm I'm 49 years old right now. Right. Well, no, in May, in May. When, when we turn, I'll be 49 years old. I'm pushing 50. I know I'm a fat guy. I'm still doing this shit. And it, it is fantastic. Being in a band and... 
having your best friends around you is the best thing. I think the thing is, is that world. like what what is it that the fans want? It's like so we've talked about doing a covers record. We talk about doing. We did a greatest hits for the first ten years of our band. We could do a greatest hits for the second ten years. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, it honestly covers out. Yeah, we. It just matters that people show up to see us. What have you guys experienced since then? I know you guys have been for very short time. What have you seen? What have you enjoyed? Nothing. I mean, like we. I mean, and here's uh, the thing: we got in. It was a 35-hour trip to get here, so we roll in. I'm thinking, uh, okay, guys, we're and we had a thing planned, but we couldn't. We couldn't. I mean, we couldn't wake up. I mean, we had to sleep. And- we're and not. Now we're, we're and by the way, we're not. Up. Like by the time we get back, okay. So what is we're it? We're terrible tourists. We're terrible tourists. Okay, stop it. We are terrible tourists. You stop it. We're by the time tourists. we get back, it'd be one a.m. We have to be up at no. What time is it now? You gotta go to Clarence tomorrow. You gotta go to. Uh, time we get back, it's gonna be two thirty. Yeah. We have to wake up at eight. Then we have to drive four hours to the next show. Right. Then we have to play a show. Then we have to, you know, so it's like, yeah, we don't really get to do a bunch of things. My final question is, if, like I said, from a social responsibility perspective, any advice for the youngsters that want to get into the industry and make this shit happen? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think what I would say is that, like, do what you love. If you want to be in a band, be in a band. Be in a band, play what you love, be with around people that you love, or whatever. It's none of it is a picnic. It's a really hard industry. Um, you have to spend a lot of time with people. So if you don't love them, I mean, again, 25 years, and I still put up with you know this fucking asshole. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Jared from Bowling for Soup, and you're on Durban Music. Congratulations. That's the today. Honestly, I'm.